Welcome to Drupal Learn. Today we are going to see how to create a custom module in Drupal 10 using the Drush command line tool. Let's get started. Let's fire up the terminal. Let's go to our Drupal directory which is Drupal Learn and I'm using Dido. So let's launch our website. Dido launch. Here we are. And we'll go to extend and uh, we'll create the custom module now so in order to issue the custom create a custom module on a d10 instance issue the command ddev rush generate module now it will ask for the module name let's give the module name as dlan custom it will pick the machine name from the module name itself so just hit enter in order to give a description this is optional let's give a description let's say a custom module for uh, creating let's say a menu link a package let's leave it as custom do we have any dependencies for now we don't have any dependencies would you like to create a module for your module file a uh, module file is not necessary for now so let's just leave it as no hit enter do you like to create an install file install file ask or for creating database tables so we don't need any database tables right now let's just leave it as such would you like to create a readme file the readme file is something that gives more info on a uh, module since it is a simple custom module we don't need this right now so we'll just give it so it says the file have been created in the following directory let's go ahead and verify if it has been in a created modules custom as you can see there is a dlan custom.info.yml file now let's go ahead and enable the module let's refresh the page and search for dlan custom let's look for custom as you can see here yeah there is a module just enable this now the module has been enabled now as for the description we said we'll be using this module for creating a menu link now let's copy the info.yml file and paste this and in order to create a menu link through an yaml file you need to create a file name in the following format custom module name dot links dot menu dot yaml now let's open the file uh, in order to open the file just remove whatever it is since we just copied the uh, info dot yaml file uh, i'll just remove the entry now to create a menu we just have to key and give an identifier first let's give the dlan underscore custom which is the actual module machine name dot the identifier let's give this as a demo now the next would be title for this menu let's give the title as demo link and let's also give a description for this menu link uh, this is a demo menu link let's choose the parent of this menu link that would be main for example let's also give the menu name that would be once again main and let's give a route name route name is nothing but on clicking this menu link where should it go to we could give a custom route or we could even choose a route from the default code now let's just choose system.admin which is the admin pages route now let's go ahead 
and flush the cache whenever you are making changes to yaml file it is better advisable to clear the cache for the changes to flag now let's go back to the site and uh, we'll check the menu in here menus once we give you the main menu you can see it here in the main menu we have a demo link and clicking the demo link should actually take us to the admin page slash admin now if you want the link to be appear on one of this here we just have to manipulate these main names and these parent names let's just say this parent name to system dot um something let's go ahead and see not sure what the module name is let's get to the code modules that will be system will open the routing.yaml or even menu.yaml open so you can see here the parent is system.admin so if we give this let's go ahead and uh, refresh the page we'll have to flush the cache once again so as you can see here since we change the parent as system admin it appears here over the in the admin menu itself now if I click this it will take us to the actual admin page thank you for watching guys